you reckon you can fit yourself in there? Let's find out. There you yeah, go. That's, that's enough definitely for enough one for one medium sized adult. What's going on, guys? Lewis B. Back again with another video of the Edition 1A3. Today, I've got the keys and I'm going to be walking around and giving you guys a more detailed review on it in the daytime because I know there's loads of requests to. Um, about my last video with it being in the dark and whatnot, but yeah, we can see the car properly today So we're gonna go through what's been specced on it why I've picked it and Yeah, essentially what I think about it. No driving in this video today. We'll do a separate video on that um, But yeah, let me know what you guys want to see um, in future on this car I'm sure there's loads of things we can we can point out anything if you're looking to buy the car or anything like that and You want any um, questions answered? We'll do a full detailed video on it um, But yeah, nevertheless, let's get into the video so the first thing I actually want to talk about is the key because I think Audi finally listened to everyone and changed it. It's no more of that flick key, uh, which was like the old one. But because where this is keyless, they don't need to do that anymore. Um, but yeah, this is the same kind of key design. Um, I believe it's similar to like the A7, A8. Um, it's not got a gloss finish on the back. It's just sort of a plasticky finish. But yeah, nice key. You've got lock, uh, press twice for your boot and the unlock button and then slash the blade up back slow but yeah thanks Audi for listening to us and uh, yeah sorting the key out but yeah let's get into the car so you what you'll notice on this car compared to the old one is the, like so many different changes with the lines so you can see there's lines everywhere you've got like RS6 arches at the back you've got the, the little sort of like vents here well fake vents uh, from the Quattro rally car and um, you've got this massive grill now which all the Audis have with like this 3d effect in um, and then, yeah, that's obviously for the engine cooling, but then it kind of goes, the holes get closed up here, obviously, for the number plate. But you can actually get grills without it, but in the UK, I'm not sure if that's an actual option. Um, you've got these big sort of fake intakes here. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of the bumper design in the comments below. I like it. Um, I think it looks a lot more aggressive, but then also smart at the same time. And then you've got the new headlights. Um, the facelift A3 kind of had this shape. So they've kind of extended the lines down into the bumper and then when I unlock the car, hopefully it does it here, you see you've got this animation um, which is like a welcoming, welcoming animation um, for when you enter the car. So you've got this massive sort of eyebrow at the top um, with these little like, graphics here um, and then when you put the indicators on it, it does its fancy flicks because these are actually the Matrix LED lights. Um, they come with the Edition 1 standard so when you're driving at night literally illuminates the road and it's got like pedestrian detection and it senses the cars coming towards you and it shuts off like individual led lights so it like shapes around the car uh, which is quite cool so actually yeah it also points at road signs as well so say for instance there's a you're coming up to that like, like a junction sign or uh, a miles per hour sign it will literally direct a light into it so you can see it clearly um but yeah another big thing about this car which probably separates it from like the se the sport and the s-line trim is the wheels so when you do go for the edition one option you get these massive 19 inch audi sport wheels they're similar to the wheels i had on my audi s3 which were 18s but now they are 19 so it really fills the wheel arch um quite well and to be fair it's a comfy ride as well but as i said we're not going to get onto that yet we'll do talk about that in the driving video but they're sort of like a, a ferret gray i believe audi call it you've got that the darker gray inserts and then almost like a like a dark sort of alloy color um, around the outside which go quite well I did mention in my previous video that I was maybe thinking about making the inserts black or making the whole wheels uh, gloss black but again that will be spoke about in another video but I think this ties in really nice with the paint and the paint on this car is actually Mythos black so as you can see from this sort of angle here everything just ties in really nicely um, as I said with it being an edition one you've got the black all around the, the grills um, you've got no chrome around the windows, which you traditionally have in the nest line, and you've also got body coloured mirrors um, in this case. But if you did get, say, for instance, a white one or a red one, for instance, the mirrors would always be black on the edition one, I believe. Well, there was with a black edition, but Audi have kind of replaced the black edition, discontinued that, and made it edition one across all models. For instance, my Q3, which you'll see in my previous videos, which I'll leave a link to in the description, that was an edition one version of the Q3, so it just gives you that. Um, extra spec so like as I said the matrix lights um, then you get the sort of the black style impact you get the ambient lighting inside um, and then also I believe electric seats comes with the edition one 
Yeah, so it's a nice touch. So if you can, I definitely recommend going for the edition one, which is essentially an S line. As you can see, it's badged here. But then with all the black features, essentially. So yeah, edition one's probably the one to go for. And that's why I went for this, because as you can see um, on YouTube, this is probably the nicest A3, in my opinion. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below on that. And if there is any other nicer ones, just leave a link so I can check out the video. Another improvement over the last model was has to be the, um, the side profile of the car. As you can see, there's lots of lines going on. You've got the line that goes all the way from the back of the car just to the front under the bonnet. I think there's lighting showing it quite well, to be fair. Um, and then you've got the light at the bottom. You've got the line on the bottom, which goes from the rear door to the front door, which really makes it look a bit more beefier. Um, and it's just a lot more of a complex modern design. Um, you can see that it's taken some um, features from its bigger brother, like the RS6 and the RS4s and whatnot. But yeah, I'm actually excited to see what the RS3 will look like. I think it'll be a beefy car. And, uh, I mean, the last one was, or the present one at the moment, is probably one of the nicest Audis. It'll be probably one of my favourite. So to think they're going to improve that is nuts. But as I said, going back to the wheels, with them being 19 inch, it fills out like really nice. And with it being an S line, um, edition one, sorry. Um, it just looks menacing. You've got the privacy glass as well, um, and the sunroof is another option like that. I think you need. I mean, you can go without it, but the way it lights up the cabin inside um, and the side profile, the way it enhances the side profile when the sunroof is open, is a big game changer. It looks more beefy in it, almost like adds another line to it, um, and it makes it look more like a S kind of RS car, um, a lot more aggressive. But yes. Yeah, with it being the edition one, as I said, all the chrome's gone, so it ties in really nicely. But yeah, again, I'll mention it again. What do you think with the wheels? So I go black or stay how they are? Just let me know because that's something that I'll probably be doing fairly soon. Um, but yeah, as a side profile, I think it's basically perfect. Um, but yeah, let's go around to the back of the car now. Another massive feature with the new A3 has to be the look from the rear quarter. You've got this all new headlight design, which kind of wraps around the boot. Um, I mean, all loads of modern cars now, well, expensive modern cars, have sort of that light bar at the back. So I don't think the Audi wanted to kind of follow that tradition uh, with this one, but they've bring, brought the lights in quite close together, um, closer than sort of like the older models, um, which makes it have like a good futuristic effect when the lights are on. And then down here again, you've got the sort of fake intakes again. I mean, I know this is sort of a love or hate thing, but to be fair, it does make the the car look more aggressive even though they aren't functional um, and then you've also got this effect down here as well which is like a like a plasticky gray kind of look and then it's integrated here with the exhaust pipes that all the modern manufacturers are doing now but yep they are fake um, and the exhaust pipes actually hidden right under there and then you've got your parking sensors which are integrated quite nicely into the bumper um, you can barely see them. I think car manufacturers are doing a good job at the moment, actually, of hiding them and making them sort of look uh, more discreet. And also another thing um, that you'll probably notice is the A3 badge and the 35 TDI badge is gone. So, yes, me saying this is a 35 TDI is a 2-litre diesel pushing out 150 PS. So not the fastest of cars, but I definitely prefer it over the 35 TFSI because diesels don't sound as loud as they once did. Um, it's very smooth and it's actually got a bit more torque than the 35 TFSI. Um, I've had that engine in Q3, A5, A3s, A1s, you name it. But yeah, I think the TDI works best for this car. Um, it does pull, it doesn't feel sluggish whatsoever. Um, but the reason I took the badge off, I think it just looks a bit more sleek. A bit more sleek. And it's actually funny seeing people's reactions um, where this car's fairly new. They're looking at it and they can't tell what it is. And then I've had people stop me at lights or... When I've got out of the car, I have conversations about it, asking what it is, because, as I said, it's probably one of the first edition ones on the road. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about having the badges off. Do you prefer it? Do you, without the badges, do you prefer it with the badges on? Just let me know in the comments below. And also, the Audi rings um, are going to go black, so they're going to go gloss black. I think it would just make the car look a, a bit more sporty and a bit more aggressive. But yeah, let me know what you think. And if I unlock the car now, you'll see it's got the sweeping indicators. Um, it's not doing it in the animation now actually where it's um, not dark but I'll leave a little pop up in the top right of what it looks like at night when you unlock the car. It's got this nice sort of animation which is similar to like the A7s and the new A6 and whatnot. So just before we get onto the inside of the car I just want to talk about the boot. Excuse my bag in there and we've actually got the 
supply drive board in the back. Um, yeah, there will be a video coming on that. We just actually filmed a trailer yesterday, which will be coming live soon. Um, not a trailer, or a little advert for supply drive, which is my new car sourcing company. So yeah, message me in the comments below um, or give me a message on Instagram at, at dot supply drive um, for any of your car needs. So if you're looking for a new car um, at the moment, you're thinking about getting a new car, you've, you're in the process of doing a deal with a dealership, um, but you're not where you need to be, just give me a message and we'll get there and we'll, we'll literally give you the best car for the best price possible. But yeah, enough um, plug-in on that one. But yeah, as you can see, the boot's got a nice wide um, entry here. You can fit literally anything in. And if you come closer, um, you can see you've got your, I've got a space saving wheel on that. They don't actually all come with the wheels, but uh, this one had it optioned when, um, when I actually picked it. So that's a uh, nice thing to have. And you can also move the boot floor up one. So you can, I don't know if you can see in the corners there, you've got little latches. So you can have the boot a bit more level. So you've got sort of like a, uh, low lip here so you can slide bigger things in easier without yeah having trouble trying to get it in and then you've got obviously standard parcel shelf decent sized boot you could probably fit about two large cases in there without the parcel shelf in um, and a small bag but yeah good boot for a hatchback um, just like a few liters give or take between like this and the golf and the a-class and one other cars in its class but yeah big enough boot pram you name it anything can fit in there um, it's just if you carry an excessive amount of equipment then you might start struggling. But yeah, let's go into the inside of the car now. So onto the inside of the car now, as you can see for yourself, it's just a, like a top class cabin in here. I mean, big improvement over the old A3. I mean, they've had that A3 going for the, the present model or the model before this. They've had that going since about 2013 um, and I've had quite a few of them. So it's nice to see a refreshed cabin in here. Before it came out, a lot of people were saying it was just like a bigger A1, but it's actually so much more sharper and more modern than the, than the A1, actually. Um, I think they've done a really good job on it. So, first thing you'll notice is the amount of light coming into the cabin. Um, I know we're in, well, it's probably sunset now, this is around, what, 20 to 7, but the sunroof has really opened up this car. I mean, you've got a sun blind here, um, which shuts it, which you operate manually, and then you've also got the controls here where it completely shuts. Um, but yeah, I drive most of the time with it open. Unless it's raining, I have it open because it's just a bit more fresh air. Um, and the wind noise isn't too bad as well. Because if you come over to the top, you can see it's got like a, a wind deflector up here, which kind of pops up. Um, so it'll start down there, then it pops up when you open it, which deflects the wind and stuff. Um, which is always quite nice, so a nice touch from Audi. With the seats as well, with it being the Edition 1, um, you have the lever um on the sort of the, the side of the seats so kind of like the hard wearing bits and then you've got this nice alcantara finish with a nice sort of white silver gray uh stitching on and then you've got the s logo on the seats so these are pretty aggressive i believe when you do get the s3 model the seats don't actually change it's just this bit would go leather as standard but i believe you can option for the alcantara on the s3 but yeah that's literally just come out so more options will, will keep coming for that but the headrests are integrated into the seat so you can't sort of slide them up and down like you could in the old one but yeah it's very very comfy seats i've not had a problem with them i mean i've only done about 200 miles in the car um so i've not gone on any long drives to know what it's like um but when we do do the driving video then we can touch on that but yeah very comfy very sporty looking when you're looking in from the outside um they kind of fit the the exterior of the car so they've like paid attention to all the minor details as you can see on the door card for instance you've got um, Alcantara so that that literally matches the seats um, and then you've got the Bangalore some speakers down at the bottom as well um, which is comes with the comfort and sound pack which gives me the heated seats um, and them speakers so yeah that's a that's another option I've chose I mean speakers are important for me I listen to a lot of music most of the time I've just got my Apple CarPlay on um, listening to music so you can do your bass you've got the subwoofer treble balance fader um, 3d sound effects you name it um, I think he wants to be in the review <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah no comfort and sound pack's definitely a good pick it's worth it and as I said it just builds to that premium factor of the car I mean the price does rack up pretty quickly I believe base price the A3 starts from early 30s high 20s um, and this one actually touches around £37,000 for Edition 1 but I've probably got all the options ticked on this um, 
and I'm not sure if they're bringing out a Vorsprung model which will have everything on as well but yeah this is kind of high spec I've gone a bit mad another thing I want to touch on is the steering wheel which they've actually kept the same um, as the previous model but that's not a bad thing I mean you've got this sort of like perforated um, lever on the outside and then like a smooth fine napper lever with it being the addition when it comes with a flat bottom with the S logo on and you've got like the gloss black on the inside so yeah, it's a lovely steering wheel I can't complain like it's probably almost a perfect steering wheel um, but yeah let me know in the comments again do you prefer the Audi steering wheel Mercedes steering wheel BMW steering wheel um, but yeah it's a nice steering wheel it's simple to use easy functions um, and it's complemented nicely by the virtual cockpit that we have in front of me so at the moment I've got it in like a new layout i believe they call this layout um aggressive or some something like that it's not the sports display but you see it's very minimalistic you've just got the um the map so all the data you need and then you've got two different views as well which is quite futuristic similar to the one i had on the q3 so nothing new from audi essentially um but yeah you've got all the information on there and simple to use and it's literally class leading the audi virtual cockpit um but yes you've got the new sort of vents on the side as well literally looks like something out of lamborghini euros it like kind of puts you into like a cockpit and they're controlled here you can shut the vents by sitting it left or right and then you've got the you can just adjust it so pretty standard stuff with your lights controlled here um it's also got the ambient lighting pack uh which again i'll put on the screen now so you can see what it's like at night but here you have all the lights lighting up you can change this through loads of different colors i leave it on blue but it lights up all here on the door card as well um, and also across the dashboard as well um, it will light up blue and also actually in the in the center console um, which we'll touch on that as well it's also got electric seats here so you've got your lumbar support controls down here and then this is sort of in the shape of the seat so easy to use whatever way you move it is the way the seat will move and as I said it's got the memory function here so you can set for two drivers so say for you and your partner or something like that you can have a set in each um, so you're going to be arguing for who's number one on that one. <laughs> I'll tell you your number one, innit? Yeah, exactly. And then you've got the folding mirrors down here, um, heated mirrors, your child lock controlled from here as well, which is quite nice. Saves you doing the old traditional way, sticking the key under the glove box and doing it. You can control it nicely from here, whether you've got your kids in the back or your friends at the back. Um, and then you see big door bin, so it passes the big water bottle test. That slides in there, so you'll have no problem if you're going for gym, going gym or on a long drive. You fit your big bottle of Evian in there. There's been a few changes to the centre console of the car as well. So replacing the sort of old MMI system where you had the swivel wheel down at the bottom with the pop-up screen, they've now integrated a touchscreen display. I believe it's 10.2 inches, something like that. Um, but yeah, so easy to use, so clear, it's very responsive, it's almost like an iPhone. So every time I click it, you'll get sort of like a, um, you'll hear the sound, it's like a clicking. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but then you can go through different controls, like your exterior lighting. Um, as I touched on earlier, you've got the background lighting, you've got different sort of moods, or you can go into individual and select your colours. As you can see, you've got cool, 30 colours to choose from, but I think the blue stands out the most. Um, so yeah, that's what I drive on, but yeah, you can change that lines, you can change the co the services, the contours, uh, which is quite a nice feature as well. And then yeah, it's, it's pretty easy to use, you've got your shortcuts down the side, which you can change there. You've got your navigation system, which you can sort of zoom out, go around, pretty simple to use. Radio, media, Apple CarPlay as well, um, which is my favourite, that's all I all I use really. So when you connect, connect it through your USB lead, um, that comes up straight away another thing Audi have changed is the actual volume controls and to skip songs and mute so to turn it up you'll actually circle like this and turn it down circle back down and then you've got your power button skip songs and the mute there as well and you've got your start stop button here which is on sort of a gloss a gloss black inlay um, with the new Audi gearbox so it's still a seven speed s-tronic but the parking buttons now here and then you've got your reverse neutral driver sport which is controlled by this uh, which is actually similar to the Porsches, which is a nice touch. And you've got this nice sort of dark grey sort of uh, trim around here, uh, which ties everything together. And yep, all solid, no sort of creaks or anything like that. And then you've got your drive select button here, which goes through efficiency, sport, auto, dynamic and individual mode, where you can change your drive system. And if it's sort of an S3 or an RS, you can change your exhaust sound and whatnot. Then you've got your traction control, start, stop, hazard lights, front and rear sensors with the rear view camera, which looks like a... HD television 
right now and then you've got the park assist which I'm actually yet to do so it'll actually park the car for you in a parallel or space or a parking bay something like that um, but yeah this is also like, a really nice finish and then you've got the parking brake down here and um, they've removed the auto parking brake button which I mentioned in the last video but I actually discovered the settings are in the MMI so you can switch it on and off through there because that's probably one of my favorite features um, it's one of the, the small details that count so you can have the auto handbrake auto hold just change that in the settings have it on which I have at the moment um, so the button's gone now which uh, makes it look a bit more cleaner then you've got your standard 12 volt socket you've got a small space here which um, I'd probably put the key in and then you've got a nice big sort of uh, center console you keep like your wallet keys anything rattly about and then yeah glove box pretty standard glove box good for your face masks and whatnot um, and then you've got a nice sort of pattern here which you can actually it's actually a sort of a a nice texture to it with the Audi badge and I assume if you get the Quattro version that will be a, a Quattro badge as well um, and then yeah you've got the touchscreen lights which is nothing new from Audi SOS button so that hints that the car's actually got safety and service so you can actually um, I'll show you here connect the phone via the Audi app so you can see here it shows the picture of the car uh, what you're driving your fuel that you've got left any details um, how many miles the car's on, so you've only done 211 miles it shows you if the vehicle's unlocked, windows open, sunroof open um, and then you can actually lock and unlock the car from here you, you've got mileage tracker, call your local Audi dealership as well and you can send destinations to the car so when you go in the car everything's sort of ready to go it'll come up saying do you want to use the destination from my Audi and then it'll put it in there and then yeah you're ready to go but yeah massive improvement from Audi um, really sort of progressive place to be you've got the heated seats as well all your air cons controlled by this new sort of third display that audi have got auto sync you've got your max um windscreen vent your rear vent there um yeah everything just works how it's meant to be and it's all solid all got a nice feel to it as you'd expect from a premium brand such as audi um, and another feature that i like as well you've, with the phone you've got the wireless charging um so it slides in there quite nice um, along with your USB and your USB-C which will be which will become a bit more common which I, I think it transfers data four times faster so for stuff like Apple CarPlay and charging um, that's the way to go for that one but yeah that's been the interior the A3 as I said let me know if you want me to touch on anything else uh, with this or focus on anything in more sort of an intricate detail um, but yeah that has been the interior of the new Audi A3 that's it today uh, from me and the uh, Audi A3 35 TDI edition one uh, thanks for watching the video I'm pretty sure I covered most things as I said any more detail you want covering let me know in the comments below and I'll touch that but also give me some nice feedback as well that's always appreciated to keep me going on the videos but yeah make sure you subscribe remember to check out my new company give it a follow and a message if you're after a new car at dot at, oh, not at dot, sorry, I don't even know my own company anymore. <laughs> so at supply.drive for all your car sourcing needs. Um, and make sure you follow uh, the guy behind the camera. So it's at Z.097. Um, he's got some pretty cool car photography on there um, as well. And if you do want your car uh, sort of pictured or anything, make sure you give him a message. Um, just say Lewis sent you and he'll, he'll look after you. But yeah, that's been it from us. And yeah, time to head out and enjoy whatever it is you're doing before you click on this video.